had a spinal cord injury it happened in 2001 and I fractured my C2 so immediately I was paralyzed from the neck down on the respirator um, um, feeding tube and the doctor said you know I would never walk again or be dependent on my own um, so for the first 24 hours it was really critical they didn't know if I was even going to survive so it's been really bad condition but um, about then I was stable and then two weeks later I was able to wiggle my my right um, big toe and so the doctors were amazed about that about that and I just started progressing um, gradually I you know I didn't have my uh, bowels or bladder and after three months um, I gained all that back and I was able to get off the respirator. Um, but I was still in a wheelchair and still, you know, considered uh, a quadriplegic. Uh, so right yeah. now I'm I'm partially paralyzed on my left side from my neck down. And my right side I feel, you know, it's pretty much normal. I still don't have the, the strength that a normal person has. So I just find left side, I have all movement, but it's, um, it's limited. I have a hard time bending my knee because of the muscle tightness. I have more spasms and more muscle tightness because I'm not on any kind of muscle relaxers. Okay. Is there any pain in your body? Um, yeah, I have um, neck pain and low back pain. If there, was, if there was any improvement, what it would it feel like? How would you even know if there was improvement? Um, probably um, I would notice less muscle tension. Okay. Where do you feel the main muscle tension? Well, it depends. While I'm sitting here, I feel it in my neck and shoulders. Yeah. But as I'm, when I walk, it's in my leg, my quads. Yeah. And my my arm goes up because I'm using all my muscles and it just contracts. Gentle current, you probably won't feel anything because it's it's the millionth of an amp range, and I'm going to use a series of colors. Now this is the area where you had that injury, so let's do a little work on the neck itself. Then. You said C2. Even years later, there's still like a, a, a cellular memory of those injuries, so let's intend to shift some of that. So it's, it's like some feeling of energy moving down your back? Okay, as long as it's not irritating, we'll go with it. Feel something in your arm. How would you describe that feeling? Just energy, okay? That's a good thing. Because usually you feel energy when there's some blockage being removed. Orange. So getting more yang toward the bottom here for this this one. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is um, Maybe stand up and sit down or move a little bit. Just see if you know. Just check out your body and see if you notice any, any, um, anything. You know, any kind of change or how you're feeling with it. I do feel a lot more relaxed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just want to just walk a little bit. You need a, need a cane to do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's just walk a little bit and see how this step of the part of it has done so far for you. Okay.
feel really light right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But in, in a good way. Yeah. You're not going to float away on you, are you? No, I'm okay. like I am. <laughs> <laughs> really light. Yeah. Okay, wonderful.